A Boy's Childhood in Wartime Wales by Brian Lewis In 1940, my dad went off to war, leaving my mother weeping and all forlorn, spending the war years home in Gilvercourt, close to the very house where she was born. My mother, as boys, her mam and dad, all shared our wartime trials in this home, a collier's terraced house of quarried stone and hills above for little boys to roam. My friend was Moggy Jones, an older boy than me, and I was happy that he lived close by. While men fought, made guns or dug for coal, we guarded Gilvach, ready to do or die. Below Tigray, we built our sturdy fort, imaginary guns trained on the sky, or out towards Glenoco and the sea beyond to shoot imaginary bombers flying by. For me and Moggy, the war was sometimes close. A plane crashed on the mountain while we played, and almost every night around the radio, we heard about another bombing raid. Once a bomb fell on our lovely church, and another on the doctor's house close by. The ruins became another place to play, open to the hills and to the sky. Inside the ruined house were strips of wood, laths they were called, and some we took, to make frames for our kite and for our fort, or to fashion a crude shelf or nook. Our feeble light came from a single lamp, fueled by oil and flickering eerily, also by firelight coming from the grate, a light so weak we could hardly see. Yet by that light I spent the evening hours, reading things that made my spirit soar, exciting things in weeklies just for boys, great tales for boys, whether rich or poor. War years in Gilver with barely enough to eat, the grime, the smoke, the clanking from the pit. After nearly 70 years, the memories live on. Childhood in Gilver, I'll always remember it.